Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where I just wanted to give a little bit of an overview slash review of a fairly new Dots asset available on the Unity Asset Store, which is the third person camera for Dots developed by Thomas NZ. I'm not going to say his last name correctly, so we'll just stick with NZ. Uh, you may have seen NZ's profile picture if you browse the Unity forums, especially in the ECS forums. He gives a lot of helpful advice and information over there. Also, he has created another third-person camera asset, uh, which is available on the Unity Asset Store as well, which is just uh, for regular Unity. However, this is the Dots version of that, so we're going to be taking a look into that today. Now, full disclosure, the developer of this asset did reach out to me directly to provide me this asset free of charge. However, it didn't come with any expectation of creating a review on it or anything like that. It seemed like he really just kind of appreciated my content and wanted to uh, give me this asset. And since then, I have been playing around with this asset a little bit, and I just wanted to share it with you all because I do think that it is overall a really good asset and something worth looking into if you're making any type of third person game that could use a camera like this. Now real quick before we get into the review I just want to point out that right now through December 6th the Unity Asset Store is hosting their Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale which is kind of one of their biggest sales of the year where they have over 500 assets available for 50% off and a whole bunch more assets available on flash deals which you can get for a limited time assets that's up to 70% off and then they'll go down to 50% off for the remainder of the sale. Lots of cool things in here, especially some of my favorite assets like the agents navigation package, as well as the GPU ECS animation baker. And as an added bonus on top of that, I do have a special coupon code for you to use. You can use turbo makes games BF 23 for an additional 10% off your entire order for all assets on sale. And yes, this does stack with the 50% off as well as 70% off discounts already applied. So anyways, just go ahead and check some of the links down in the description below. I'll link off to some of my favorite assets on sale during the sale. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this asset. I've popped open some of these demo scenes. By the way, these demo scenes are available in a WebGL demo that anyone can access online. So I'll have a link to that down in the description so you can play around with this yourself so you can really get a feel of how this asset feels when you're actually playing it in a game. So right now I'm in the free look demo. This is just kind of like a good one to test things out with. We have this little uh, character walking around here. This actually does use the uh, dots character controller package, which was previously known as the rival character controller, um, but that is now actually owned by Unity. Um, and so this demo is built off of the dots character controller. So I think it's super great that there is compatibility with the dots character controller here. And yeah, initial impressions of the camera are really good. You know, just playing around in this demo scene here, it really, it feels really nice, polished and smooth. Feels like something that you would expect to see in a AAA video game or something of that nature. And you see that it does some like occlusion checking. So you'll see that if I say rotate the camera into this wall here, it kind of zooms in on the player. Um, so that the player is basically always in view, which is a really nice feature to have. Uh, another thing that I've noticed is if the camera gets really close to the player, then uh, the player actually kind of starts going a little bit transparent so you can see through them. That actually may be part of the character control of the dots character controller. I'm not entirely sure though, but it has basically everything that you would expect out of a camera. It does have this nice little feature called smart pivot, where if you uh, basically start looking the camera upwards, once the camera hits the ground, it's just gonna go ahead and tilt upwards rather than kind of getting closer to the player. And of course, all these options are available to toggle on or off. So just to real quick show you what it looks like with the smart pivot off, you'll see that the camera kind of now moves closer to the player um, as opposed to just pivoting up right when it hits the ground. Now, if I were to offer one point of criticism for this asset, it would be with the occlusion checking. Like I mentioned before, I think it is really good and important feature to have for uh, most camera controllers. However, there are some situations where if I was creating a game that might use this type of camera, I might end up uh, changing the, some of the behavior a little bit. So for example, there's this little section here where the player can kind of walk under this area. Uh, you'll see when I do that, the camera kind of snaps directly to them, which can be maybe a little bit jarring for uh, some users. I think maybe if I was doing a game that kind of had maybe a little bit more of like a kind of a top-down third-person style, um, I, want, I would actually just want the camera to stay at the height that it is and then maybe apply a shader to the character to kind of give a little bit of an outline of where they are behind this geometry here. Now again, like I mentioned, this asset is highly configurable. So we can actually just turn off the occlusion checking in general. So we can kind of have that feature right there and just manually apply our shaders as needed. However, this completely disables the occlusion checking. So if I was to say, you know, go over to say this, um, this box here, I can actually now just spin my camera kind of like inside the box, which isn't 
you know, necessarily what we would want to happen. You know, you still would want some type of geometry checking so you're not kind of going into the camera walls or something like that. Um, but again, I could see me making a game where there were some situations where I might want to um, just kind of, you know, be able to walk under things like this. However, I did take a look at some of the code here and everything seems to be laid out very nicely, cleanly. All the variables have, you know, good and proper understandable names. Lots of good comments in here to kind of like understand what is going on. So I think that, you know, if I were to actually use this asset in a production ready project, then I would want to make some of those modifications like I mentioned I don't think I would have any problem coming into here tweaking some things or even extending some of the behavior just because everything is laid out so cleanly and on that I think the documentation for this asset is really great it uses the doc effects uh, documentation so if you're familiar with the documentation that unity uses for the ECS packages and so on it is the exact same thing so you'll have no problem getting around in there um, I think it does a great job about detailing all the different options that are available in this camera controller because there are are a ton of options um, it goes pretty deep on all the different things that you can configure which is uh, very excellent and I think the documentation is very clear you know even if you're just like reading through the kind of introduction tutorial section um, it doesn't really skip out on any steps so if you're not super familiar with unity ECS I don't think you'd really have any problems setting this up yeah so anyways I do think this is a really great asset fits many third person types of games so here's an example of a say third person shooter that you could create with something like this you know has options to to switch the side that you're aiming from. Here's also another cool one, which is the souls like camera where you can kind of uh, cycle through the different enemies that you're targeting. So if you're say, you know, targeting an enemy, the camera will always kind of point towards that uh, particular enemy. So I think this is uh, another really cool feature to have and it's really cool that this asset supports this type of gameplay. And of course it applies to more than just regular players. You can also have, uh, you know, tanks and different vehicles that work well with this asset as well. So anyways, overall, I think this is a really great asset and it's something that is absolutely worth checking into if you're making any type of game that could take advantage of a third person controller using dots. Um, the setup for this is extremely easy you know you just drop a couple uh, prefabs inside your sub scene and everything just kind of works and of course there are many configurable options and you know if some of those configurable options aren't enough for you I do think that the code is laid out very uh, nice and easy to understand and it would be easy to override or extend that behavior if you wanted to so anyways of course I'll have some links to that asset down in the description below and don't forget that the Black Friday sale still might be going on depending on when you're watching this video uh, so go check that out as well and make sure you use cool Coupon code TurboMakesGames BF23 for an additional 10% off your order. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.